All right, I promised to take you into outer space. I'm going to do that. Google just announced, now Google Earth is an application that you can buy, put it on your computer, and that you can um, go anywhere. Go anywhere, yeah, all over, the, all over the Earth. They also had a feature where you can go into the sky and take a look at things that are out there in space. Well, they just recently released a version that's on the web now, and I wanted to point that out to you. If you go to Google Sky, it's basically just google.com slash sky. And basically you have a lot of options in here where you can basically, just like any other Google thing, where you can zoom in on a particular area. You can click and drag. So we can take a look at this little space right here. We can zoom in and take a look at what we got. Oh, get a closer one. image of the nebula. Yeah, and some of these areas have a really close view. So you can take a look at this, and it's just really amazing. You can also search for a, a, a spot right here. If I was to type in... Um, or Ryan, for instance, and uh, there we go. And I need to pull back out a little bit because on this screen we can't see a whole lot of it. <laughs> but the Orion constellation is now. And there it is. There it is. There's the belt. I got to zoom back out even further because we have the <laughs> resolution really uh, set as small here. And basically, uh, there's what Betelgeuse and Rigel, I believe, and there's the, the belt, belt and there's the nebula. It looks a little bit different than you see with your naked eye because they're pointing out the areas where they have some real focus in here. So if you wanted to see that nebula in Orion, you could click on that and zoom in. But this could be really educational. Now, it's not nearly as fast as what you get with some other programs. Mm -hmm. And there are some options over here, if you didn't see these, um, for like infrared, microwave, historical, that sort of thing. So if I actually click on the infrared, I can see what things look like in the infrared. Now, do Whoa, we, what's, very different. What's the slider about here? Well, you can slide it back and forth so you can see less of the infrared or more of the infrared. So that's okay. kind of nice. But when I slide it, it doesn't do anything at first. But if I click infrared, turn it off, and then click it again, then it shows. It kind of needs refreshed every now and then. Yeah, in order for it to really show what you're trying okay. to do. And the same thing for microwave. Woo, very different. And again, to slide it down, it's not going to show you. You need to click the microwave button and then click it again, and then it shows you sort of the temporary bit. Kind of reminds me of seeing through that veil in that episode of Star... Oh, never mind. <laughs> anyway, they don't just stop at the sky. They've got a lot of stuff down here. You've got Hubble Showcase, so you can click on that. They have a lot of neat features down here that you can take a look at. Um, so you can click on one of these, and it gives you information on it. Click on this one. Superstar Clusters, Galaxies Seen at the Edge. You can click on that little... It shows you a little information about it here where you can read up learn more about this object, you can click on a link and even learn more about NGC 5866. Cool. Um, and uh, so, a little educational. Now, I didn't want to just talk with Google Sky because they have a lot of features in there in the Hubble Showcase, but click on Home. They also have things about solar system, constellations, backyard astronomy, um, all kinds of stuff in here. If you click on constellations, for instance, I can click on uh, What's Capricorn. Your sign, Ooh, let me turn off the microwave thing. And there we can <laughs> see the way they are, and if I zoom way out, I can kind of see the whole the whole sky a little bit better the entire and, and see all the constellations. So I can learn to map them and if I want to know, oh, which one is this one? I can click on it and I say, oh, that's Pisces. Okay. Um, now that's the Google Sky. They also have a thing called Google Moon if you haven't seen this before. And um, basically with Google Moon you can see information about the different Apollo missions, where they landed, and then you can zoom in to wow. take a look at it. So there they are. So you can click on that. Uh, let me close out and zo I can zoom way in and see the actual landing sites. Yeah, see one? the actual landing sites. It's they amazing. have some, some detailed Im images in here. Let me zoom in some more. Whoop, whoop. And let's, I don't know if this is one of them or not, but you can actually see the tire tracks these guys made with their little buggies. <laughs> which is pretty. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. The little moon rover. Yeah, the little moon rover. Okay, so here's their little path that they took. And it shows all this detail on here. And you can click on one of these numbers and, and uh, learn some additional things. So there's 13. So that tells me about the sampling was finished, blah, blah, blah. So Now, I wonder if you can find the golf ball that one of the astronauts took up and drove for <laughs> 600 yards. Far, how far in depth can we actually get? Uh, we can get pretty in depth. And so... Ah, oh, wow, this is just pretty amazing. So if you're really into all this stuff, and if you're my age, you remember the lunar landings when you were a kid, then this is going to be a lot of fun for you. Or if you're a history buff and you just like this stuff like me, then this mm -hmm. is still interesting to me. Or if you're Tim's age, you might be interested in the close-ups of Mars, because those are some of the landings mm -hmm. we've actually done in Tim's lifetime. And uh, so if you click on Mars, and you have an option to look at visible. Um, and in this case, I'm, I'm just using the scroll wheel to zoom out, and then we can kind of see the whole planet. Ooh, zooming in. And again, I can 
Is that mount on mm -hmm. Olympus Mons over here? Uh, I believe so. If you click on the elevation button, which is really cool, uh -huh. it will show you the elevation. And so you can see, yep, that's Mount Olympus. These are other three other volcanoes that are on Mars. And you can see down here the low part, which is the, uh, is it Vals Marineris, I believe? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then up here, you can actually see some of the water erosion. And you tell the blue, that's the low-lying area, as opposed to the red and the white, which gets higher. Which where scientists think the water was on Mars. That's where they think there was like a sea on Mars at some point. And you can actually take a look at this stuff and then zoom in. I don't know how far. Let's see how far we can actually go in and take a look at this. And so there we go. So the question really is, is there life on Mars? I, you know, I, 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 Elvis's face, I tell you, man, there was something. No, I'm just kidding. I was trying to look. They also have, I don't think I can see it in this version uh, because the screen's, oh, here we go, up here, spacecraft. Hmm. So I can click on spacecraft, and suddenly it'll pop up where the spacecraft are, and then I can click up and take a look at those. That would be U.S. spacecraft, not little green man spacecraft. That would be human spacecraft that we sent to Mars to run around. And I should point out, he said U.S., but he meant... The world. Earth spacecraft. Earth. That's right. right, because the Beagle is actually mentioned on there, the Beagle 2 lander. So if you click on that, -da -da -da, there you go. And you get a nice little picture of them. So there's the rover. And so we can click on that one. Let um, me close out and pull that up. And that's and where the rover roved? Yeah, I can just have so much fun with this stuff and check it out and see what all we've got in here. A lot of detail. So anyway, that's some stuff for you to play around with. I, I found it to be a lot of fun. I thought, you know, so I thought you might enjoy a little bit too.